What's up, guys? Itchy here. So, it's time for some Carl runs. Uh, just to let you know, Carl is insanely strong. <laughs> I tried him out once. He beat me into the ground, and it was not fun. Um, he can do some serious, serious damage. I wanted to try him out just to see how it went, um, and yeah, I regret it. So, today I have with me, let's see, I actually have three people with me. Uh, four Mana uh, is coming back, he actually is lending me his max level Magris. Uh, mine is actually close to max level, but not quite there. I was kind of deciding where I wanted to throw all my uh, stuff, but yeah, this is the team I ended up with. Um, I expect Lemia to go on pretty quickly, but I just needed to try a different squad. And plus that um, extra uh, leader skill should be a huge, huge help. So yeah, let's do this. So yeah, um, one thing you need to know about Carl, when you think you've beaten him, you haven't beaten him. He gets down to about 50% health, and then he basically goes into his next mode, like he has a second form, and it is beastie. Absolutely, absolutely destroyed me. Um, was not too happy about the result. And as you can see here, I'll show you uh, just an example of the damage I'm going to be doing. I'm going to try and save my Dark Ores and Dark Seals until he hits his second form. Um, I actually haven't played around with exactly where I need to put people either as far as attack pattern. I know Lemmy attacks pretty fast so I'll throw her at the end. So decent spark there. But yeah, I mean we have uh, both Unholy Magris' abilities there and look how much damage we did. Absolutely nothing. That was barely anything. Now luckily enough he's barely doing any damage and you can see both of the Magris' HP is pretty damn high so that I don't have to worry about. Um, I don't have another dark unit I can throw in here that's actually leveled, otherwise I would, so Sefi is with us for now, um, so hopefully she can hang. I do expect to do some decent damage here, um, eventually, oh, I forgot, that's why it's being slow, I forgot to take off the, uh, battle animation, I'll go ahead and do that in a second. Um, yeah, but, uh... As you can see, the damage, I mean, even though we have some semi-decent damage units here, I mean, um, Magris doesn't have the highest damage, but when you have all that uh, leader skill uh, added in, it should be at least competitive. So he has an insane amount. So basically you have to live through his first part, and then you have to do this all over again. So let me go ahead and take care of this real fast before it drives me nuts. There we go. Okay. That should help out a little. Much better. So, I think I kind of found a middle ground there that seems okay as far as attacking. I'm still not thrilled with the spark I'm getting. Maybe I'll mix in the Magruses around the Kukuri and Cepheus. See, I like putting Kukuri and Cepheus back to back because I know that they can uh, do some decent, uh, they get decent spark together. So, maybe I'll separate the Magruses by L tree. Let's try that. A little better. Um, they're still not getting a lot of spark in there, so maybe I will mix it up and try to throw them in between each other. So, he's actually not doing a ton of damage in this form. You can see he's pretty much... Uh, you can handle them, that's not a big deal. Uh, let me try just going in a circle here and see if that does anything. Kind of mixed spark there, not a whole lot. So we'll try something different next time. But yeah, as you can see in his first form, he does have an area of effect attack that actually doesn't do a ton of damage, but it's still annoying. Um, probably going to go ahead and heal some guys here. I do want to save most of my... Actually, I'll use Eltry's ability. You know what? I completely forgot I had him with me. Thank God for him. Um, yeah, I'm trying my hardest to save all my cures and stuff for the second round because it is a pain. Plus, I'm so glad I decided to take Eltry with me this time because last time I did and I screwed myself over completely because he can cause status ailments and they are a pain in the ass. So, let's go ahead and try that. Uh, let's see if this does any spark here. No, not a lot. So this is this is a challenge trying to figure this out. I'll probably go ahead and use um, 
the Brave Burst now. I was kind of waiting until I figured out a good spark, but now that he's got his attack and now he's causing status ailments, I actually have to do something here. Paralyze anybody else. Okay. Alright, so let's throw out the two I know spark well together, and then we'll try and mix these Magruses in with Lemia. Let's see if that does okay. At least the damage is pretty much there. Um, the only thing I'm worried about uh, is taking him down to halfway health before uh, Eltree gets out of paralyzation, because that would be a problem. And of course he's going to attack Lemia three times here, isn't he? Might as well. Alright, let's save her. She's got decent recovery, so I should be able to use just one cure on her. Um, unless he attacks her three times in a row, she should be alright. So, let's see what I'm going to do here. We'll try this. Let's see if that does anything. See, now that was decent spark. That was better than I was getting before, so maybe we'll go with that pattern. Alright, now he's causing all kinds of status ailments. I really could use Eltree back. Probably needs one more turn. Um, I gotta save Lemmy again. That's the only problem with having her along. She keeps taking too much damage, and now her uh, her attack isn't there either. So let's see if I can do this again. So yeah, that's decent spark there. I'm gonna keep doing that. That seems like the best. Uh, what was that? Kakari, Magris, Sephia, Magris, Lemmy. Alright, cool, we have Eltry back. Eltry, save me. And we'll go ahead and do our attack pattern again. Not too shabby. So I think I have like one more turn until he goes beast mode on me. Um, as you can see, like, yeah, this isn't that bad. I wish he stayed like this the entire time and then this wouldn't even be a problem. Status ailments again. That's the only problem. I probably should have used the Divine Light and saved Eltree for the status ailments. But, you live and you learn. So, let's go ahead and do our attack pattern again. Throw Eltree in this time. Maybe one more turn until he gets into the next mode. Which is good because that gives us an extra turn to wait for Magris' attack to come back. The only thing is he's causing more damage while this is all happening, so... We'll do this next attack and take him down to halfway, I guess? See, I don't know. Here's my problem. Down to halfway, is he going to transform before attacking me again, or is he going to attack me and then transform? Because if he attacks, or if he uh, transforms and then attacks me, I'm in trouble. So I'm going to go ahead and use some cures here just to be safe. Um... Definitely one on Kukuri. I'll use a high cure on Sephia to make sure that she's okay. I'm not going to waste those Brave Bursts because I know that he's going to get his health back. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and attack and hope for the best here because I'm pretty sure Magris can take the hit. So let's see which order it is. Alright. I'm not holding back anymore. Boom. Back up to full health. And we're dealing with a whole new beast here. So does he attack now that he's in his new form? Yep. Alright, so I guess we're right on that. I don't know what that one attack is that he just did, because it doesn't... I, I don't see it ever doing anything, but at the same time... Ouch, that hurt. Maybe that's just raising his attack or whatever. Okay, let's see who needs help. 
I almost feel like I should be using a high cure on Cephia just because one cure isn't going to get her up to full. Neither does that, but... Alright, let's throw in our Dark Ore and our Dark Seals to save everybody. And let's wait on this dude. I don't know what order I want to attack in here. Um, let's pop off some Braid Burst first, just because I know they take a minute. throwing these two, and I'm pretty sure her Braid Burst even attacks pretty fast, so we should be alright with that. I mean, as you can see, this is absolutely nuts. Like, they have... <laughs> we have two leader skills going on. We have Dark Ore, and so we have massive, massive damage increase, and it is just doing nothing. Eltree just took a beating. He's paralyzed now. The one person I did not need to be paralyzed might consider taking the long tonics next time, just because that, or I'm not tonics, uh, stimulants next time, just because that is such a pain. I could use his heal right now, and I can't even use it. It would be a godsend to have it right now, and I just can't even make use of it. So, we have two of our Brave Bursts back. Let's go ahead and use those. Throw these two in. I probably should have healed Godtree. I totally missed his health bar. I'm an idiot. I missed his health bar because he's blacked out like that. That is a huge, huge mistake on my part. Hopefully he doesn't take advantage of that. Or maybe he will. As long as he doesn't attack him again. So Sephia taking a beating also. Alright, so he did spread the love. Thank God for that. So we're going to go ahead and... Man, almost everybody I have just has such a low recovery rate that it's just making it so harsh on my cure items. Alright, so let's go with our regular attack pattern again. I hope we can do some decent damage here. See, the thing here, I mean, obviously, is survivability. It's really, really difficult to be able to deal the kind of damage that you want to deal and also uh, stick around long enough. I mean, as you can see, when he attacks people multiple times, it just makes it so much harder to survive. Um, I'm actually going to use a Divine Light here because there's really no getting around that. And then now that we have those two status ailments, that's terrible. <laughs> because now we have two people down, and I can't even use Eltree's ability to get rid of them. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get this attack in with our only four people. Still managed to get a decent spark out of it. Not great, but whatever. What are you going to do? So luckily the seals and such are keeping us in this. I mean, they're keeping our main guys alive and well. Um, I really don't want to have to make it to my second and third squad because my second squad is okay, but not great. And then my third squad is pretty terrible. Um, actually, there's only four people in that squad, so I don't expect a lot out of it. Uh, we need to use these ores and seals again. So we got that. Um... Guess. See, I don't want to have to use Godtree's ability unless I necessarily have to, but I could really use Cephia's attack right now um, just to get the extra damage in there. Let me think about this for a second here. Only got six cures, two divine lights, and one high cure. I might as well use it now, but if he causes any more status ailments, that's what I gotta be worried about. So, you know what? I just talked myself out of it. I'm going to use regular heals instead. I'm um, gonna go ahead and use a regular cure on Cephia, because unless he attacks her three times in a row, I should be alright. Um, and then Eltry, just in case he attacks him more than once, that should be alright, but everyone else should be okay. So let's go ahead and attack. Not much spark there. Um, okay spark, but not great. Have a little bit of a different attack pattern with a uh, without Cephia there. So there we go. Glad I saved it because as you can see Magris is now paralyzed and that would have been terrible and Cephia is practically dead anyway and now that she has um I forget what the broken shield is called but yeah that doesn't help things and she's down. 
glad I didn't waste it. I definitely need Magris' attack more than I need hers. Um, but now I'm in the same boat again where if I use it, um, I'm only curing a few people. Hmm. Okay, so... Let's just bring Magris back up to f health and Eltru too, just in case he attacks him. Only two cures, two divine lights, and two high cures left. Well, deal with what we got. Was not expecting to lose Cephia that early. Uh, losing that damage is pretty huge this early on because he's not even close to halfway yet. It's about a quarter down. See, what really confuses me, I've seen other people uh, posting pictures of their Carl capture, and I'm just wondering how that's possible. But then, like, I see the I see the teams, and half the time it is, like, a full team of Kakuris with uh, Magris Leader. Um, and I'm sure they're all Breaker with, you know, every wonderful sphere in the game. But it's just, it's dumbfounding to me that people can get through him that easily. Um... If I use a cure on Eltree here, then I'm going to be way low on cures. I'm actually going to wait and then use Eltree's ability next turn. So we're going to go ahead and use Kakuri's Brave Burst, and then get everybody else in there for the spark. Jeez. <laughs> like, no spark. Every, every single one of those numbers was on top of each other, but not a single one connected. So he went ahead and used his Area of Effect ability, beating down on Kakuri. Area of Effect again. Jeez, I hope he doesn't kill... Oh, he killed Kakuri, come on! Okay, well, I guess it's a good thing I saved Godfrey's ability. This is not looking good. Um, not even halfway down, and as you can see, just nothing we can do right now. I'm really thinking I'm going to need some kind of Thunder Team to be able to compete here. And while I do have two Amy's and two Locks, and I think I have like a Behemoth or something like that, um, a few different ones, it's still one of those situations where I don't know if that's going to make a difference or not. Um, I mean, anything has to be better than this right now, I guess. But I feel like this is a decent team. I mean, it's not the greatest, but it's definitely not the worst. I mean, getting one more Dark Person in there should help but yeah, I don't think it's going to make a world of difference. Um, maybe next time I'll also try throwing in some tonics and such, um, so I don't have to deal with being paralyzed. Um, but those Dark Ores and Dark Seals really do help. The only thing is I feel like I'm not making use of these Divine Lights enough. See, if I use these Cure Items now, I'll be screwing myself over on the next team. Um, I may actually just try and get whatever damage I can out of this. You know what? I will do that. I will use a... I'll use a Divine Light. I will use a Dark Ore, because I have plenty of these. Dark Seal. I'll save the rest of the items and just go to town with what I've got, and hopefully I can get one more turn out of these guys. to make both Magrus's attack back-to-back uh, -back there and get absolutely zero spark out of them. And that area of effect is really annoying just because you think you're going to survive it and then you don't, but as you can see, at least Magrus can take a hit. Um, yeah, we're probably going to end up relying on the second team. I don't think the second team's going to make it through either, but it's still some hope. So this should leave us with just about no one left. Still can't believe... Oh, okay, there we go. I was going to say, I can't believe Lemmy is still alive. She was the one I was expecting to go first. Definitely not Kakuri, because my Kakuri, unfortunately, is Guardian, but um, she did survive for a very long time, so... Um, very surprised that Lemmy made it through that far. Maybe he just wasn't picking on her, I wasn't paying attention. But as you can see, I mean, like, even when you saw those single numbers there by Magris, I mean, he's doing decent damage. I mean, he was doing 
his initial attack was uh, over 2k, and then he had a few extra after that, so it's not like the damage isn't there. So, the backup team, uh, unfortunately we are stuck with uh, two fire people on this team, and that is only because we had no other choice. Um, so let's see what we can get out of this. I don't really have a pattern here, I have a set of ready or anything like that, but most of these guys are pretty high level, um, except for Laurent is not that high. Uh, man, jeez, <laughs> he just took Dean down to half in one shot, he's probably going to kill Dean on this shot. Our fire guys are probably going to be taken out. Yeah, Dean's down in one in one round. Did not even get a chance. And there you have Water on Lightning. A Zeus Bowlock that's almost maxed out. He just took everyone to school. He just took out almost my entire team on one round. Um, at this point, it doesn't even matter. I can cure these guys till my dying day, and it's not going to make a difference. He's just going to kill these guys next round, but uh, I didn't mean to use her first. Uh, then he's got the status ailment, so that's a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and use Frozen Axe here, probably take out one or two. See, what's really disheartening is that he gets his health back. If this were the kind of thing where he got taken down to half, half health and then um, recovered a quarter, or maybe if he got down to half health and then transformed and then just stayed that way, that would be fine. I would be cool with that, but the fact that he can make it back to full health and in a completely new form is just insane. There's no reason for that. I mean, just none, other than to be frustrating. And I'm starting to wonder what kind of team is going to be able to take him on, because like I said, you have two, um, well, one, one lock is max level, the other lock is close to max level, and... He's still doing tons of damage to him, just not even caring. Pretty insane. So, out of cure items, got to attack with what I got. And just completely useless. They're all going to die probably this turn. And like I said, I don't expect a lot of the third squad. Um, <laughs> if somehow this third squad actually beats him, I will be amazed. I really feel like there's no possible way that that's going to happen. But I'm trying to remember who I even have in my third squad. Um, when I do, I do plan on getting the global exclusive unit tomorrow um, to throw into my dark squad. And then on top of that, that should leave Sephia. Uh, out of that squad, so that means I'll have her in a different one, and I'll be able to hopefully get my god outro up to a 6 star and use her. Um, but as you can see, this is basically just the scraps that were left over. Um, just my leftover units, and then I didn't even have enough cost to equip a 5th unit, so deal with what we got here. So let's go ahead and attack. I have no idea what uh, order I want to go in. Zeln is actually level 1, he was just, a, he cost 4 to put in there, so I said why not. Didn't even bother putting any um, anything into him, it was just kind of like, okay, well, he may eat up an attack or two. So yeah, he went ahead and take, took care of Selena. Now, she was only 4 star, but still, to be taken out in 2 hits is just absolutely nuts. So, Zeln, not even surviving, 2 seconds. Um... No big surprise there. But like I said before, um, when I can get Sefi into a different squad, I believe someone else has a 6-star outro on my friends list, so I can put them in here in the 3rd squad, or maybe I'll switch this one to the 2nd squad. Then I'll have God Outro uh, and Holy Master Aim along with Sefi, and that'll at least get me somewhere. So there you have it, that's Carl in a nutshell. Extremely hard, extremely, extremely impossible. Um, I do not suggest going after him until you are 100% ready. Um, as you can see, I am not. I'm going to have to work on this and figure it out, but I wanted to get a video out there for you guys, so at least you had some idea what you're looking for, or what you're in for. So that pretty much does it. 
I'm going to go ahead and ask you to subscribe and leave your friend ID down in the comments section so that I can bring you along in future missions and also make sure to visit my Facebook page. I actually just made the Facebook page recently. Um, it's just going to be a place basically to be able to talk about like upcoming things that are coming in the updates or like tell me about your squad, share strategy, I want to know what you're doing, you know, that kind of thing. So. Yeah, at this point I am pretty much losing my voice because this video went way longer than I thought it was going to. So that pretty much does it. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Take it easy, guys.